Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Open says me. Let's go through that door. Ooh, I think I remember this room. It's a block pushing puzzle of sorts, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we will see if I do remember this room. I hope I remember this room. <laughs> uh, come on, Bubble. Over here to this nice... Whoa! Nice large patch of land here. If I walk into these, will they hurt me? Oh, okay. I, I didn't think so. I'm sure if I landed on them, it would hurt. Uh, I just gotta be careful as I go across. Oh, it nicked me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Well, I guess I'm okay. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> okay, so we got that block. I probably need to pull it back. I can, I can pull it back, can't I? Or, or do I absolutely have to push it? Maybe I can only push it in human form because I have thumbs. Yeah, I mean, I can pull it in human form because I have thumbs. Okay, that makes sense. And it falls off that. And you gotta push it back over here. Until you can't push it anymore. And that creates a little jumping platform for you to get across a little bit later. Actually, that later seems to be now. <laughs> uh, this chandelier here... I'm gonna show you how that works in just a second. This hurts. Just saying. There's actual moving ones a little bit later on. I like how there's skulls pierced on that. That is quite morbid, I have to say, but it really fits this dungeon, as you recall. This was a prison for uh, the worst of the worst here, and they were put to death, transport, I mean, uh, put to the Twilight Realm, whatever. Uh, is there anything here? I don't, I don't think there is. I guess all I'm supposed to do here is pull this then, and watch, watch, watch. This is why you move the block all the way over, because you need a platform for you to be able to pull this up as far as it can possibly go. It'll take a while for you to get it up there, but once you got it there, let go. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 and I mean run, run, run. Maybe I was a little too late. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe what I was supposed to do is end up in the center of that chandelier now that I think about it. I might have done that incorrectly. Did that reset the block of this room? I really hope it... Ow. I really hope it didn't reset the block. Ow! Why did, why did that still hurt me? It was going down, dang it. Ah, the block is fine. Okay, so, upsy doodle. Let's try it again. This time, watch the circle of light on the ground in the center of the chandelier so I don't reset myself. Mm-hmm. Takes a while. <laughs> go, 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 go! Right here, right here. Stand safe! Now, what do I do from here? <laughs> uh, I can get across there easily. But is there any benefit to being in here as long as I'm in here? I don't think so. <laughs> I think that was just to get across here, if you ask me. I'll attack the bubbles on the stairs, why not? Oh! Fire bubble! But that... It, it's fire shield did not matter in the slightest in this game. Is this the compass? Is this the compass? Give me compass! Please be compass! Yeah! That is awesome. Okay, so we got that. Uh, perhaps I should look at that now that I have... Ooh! chest. Okay. So, yeah, I know I can push that, but I just want to make sure I... Looks like I'm going to have to push it now. <laughs> this is... Watch. This room makes sense because... It, I mean, in comparison to the other one, that one makes sense... Well, actually, maybe it doesn't. No, wait, it does make sense because your feet are like pushing or switching the room around, but the other one, you just move the entire room, which doesn't make sense. <laughs> and here we have another re-dead knight, I think that's what they're called. 
and they're quite easy to defeat in comparison to the redeads of other Zelda games. It's a key! Yeah, I kind of expected that given the, uh, um, the locked door on the other side. Let's just take a look, see around. If there's anything else, I don't see anything. I don't know why I'm bothering with the pots. I don't see our buddy Okoko here, or whatever it's pronounced. <laughs> or Oku. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's move through the quicksand, carefully, and break apart. Wait, I hear a pole. There's a pole somewhere around here. I'm going in wolf form just to... Just to make sure I don't miss it. Hey! <laughs> Wolfling spin is not quite as efficient. Yeah! Definitely has nothing on Link's blade. <laughs> Maybe I should switch back to normal ink when I come across uh, a group of these. Yeah, that's much, much better. <laughs> Completely owns them. Um, come on, one more. And boom! Yeah, that's definitely a read that type of enemy. <laughs> Ow! You got quite the swing there. Woo! Jump to the side! Jump to the side! Ugh! Where are you gonna swing that now that- Oh, you're gonna actually gonna aim for me, okay. Oh, I couldn't jump out of the way in time! Too bad. That's okay. I took a lot of damage there. Maybe I should have kept that red shoe jelly thingy. Um, this is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I recognize this. Dig. I don't even need to sense to make sure that I can do that. There we go. I betcha. I betcha. Yup. Another pole! Bring it on! I'm trying to jump attack it, but maybe these are a little bit different than the other poles in that. Yeah, they. I see. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the best way to defeat them, but. You know, just for you guys, they're not hard, as you can tell. I'm not having issues dodging their attacks whatsoever, but I'm still wondering exactly how. Or I should say, when. They take a hit. Ah! You're supposed to attack them when they're about to attack you, and they glow light blue. Or purplish, whatever. There we go. Attack! There we go. That makes sense. Another pole bites the dust, if ghosts can bite dust. And its flame goes back to those torches back at the beginning. The lobby, whatever you want to call it. And I think this room is, for the most part, done. By the way, you'll notice on the map, that doesn't show up on the map. See that? I'm in that blank space in the room. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how they did that. That's why you're supposed to sense your way into things with uh, Wolf Link to make sure that you can see certain things. I think that's how they built it, just to uh, kind of fool you in that way. Otherwise, you would pass up that sort of stuff on the map. Oh, we got a treasure chest in this room. Uh, down there. Pretty easy. And it's a key! That was not hidden in the slightest. Oh! Okay, there's something else in here. Wait, what? Ah, that's right. Ghoul rats! These, these like the um, <laughs> the uh, those poison mites. They don't do any damage to you, but they slow you down. I forgot that this was the first room that they appear in. That's kind of creepy the way the room just spookified there. All right, back around we go, and sure enough, there's the locked door. I don't know if there's anything else in there. Hopefully not. Like some keys that don't show up on the map. I'm really hoping there's 
no keys that don't show up on the map, you know, the treasure chests. Boop. Good. Three down, one to go. And should I go back to normal? I think I should go back to normal link. Eh. And across the chandelier. Wait, is it, before I move on, is there anything that I could get to while I'm up here? No? Okay. Let's just go. That was the lobby, by the way, in case you didn't realize it. Um, oh, this is the room that uh, I couldn't get through before. Okay, I'm on the upper level this time, so that means I have access... Oh, don't fall. <laughs> I don't want to fall before I do something. I, I think that is the thing that was blocking the door on the other floor. But what do I... Do I make a path with that block? To be able to jump across, or... Well, I can't do anything up here, so... J that was weird. <laughs> So, Geronimo, um, can you actually walk and climb up here this way? Oh, yes you can. I didn't know that. It looks like something that, you know, once you go down, you can't go back up because of the way that it's, like, pitched. I would think that that ground would be loose and you would slide all the way, I guess. There we go. Oh, climbed up on it automatically. Very nice. Oh, there's a switch there. And this was that chest that I opened. There's the bubble, which respawn. Okay. And... Let's go up. And now, this chandelier. Do I want to do the thing where I go in the middle of it again, or... Do I want to actually go across? Because... Whoa! <laughs> Stealth attack! <laughs> Ninja worm! Um... Because, as you can see, there... There's that border all the way around the edge, and I don't think I can get... I mean, I don't think I can hop over that border. Hmm. I might be able to. Let's find out, I guess. Because I might, I might just not have enough time to do it like I think I will. Or maybe I will, because I'm going to end up be, uh, being underneath the chandelier before it's going to fall down. And I might just be able to run across. Okay, it's at full. Let go. Run, 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 What's in here? I don't know! That was completely not worth it. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh-oh. Please tell me I'm able to get... Oh, I am able to get back across there. That's what this is for. And because I moved the block... I can do this! Ha ha ha! So that was a return route of sorts. Well, it was to unlock a way to get back up here easier. Alright. Once again! <laughs> These take so long! I can tell pretty much where it's gonna... F where it's safe, because that groove in the floor. If I were to go right here, it's right in the center. I hope. Okay. Yeah, if I were to stand in the center, I wouldn't be able to go over these bars for some reason. I remember that in other playthroughs, and I was like, how do I get that chest then? But you're actually just supposed to race across to it like I showed you there. I'm surprised I did remember that, honestly. <laughs> well, why did you... That was weird, you just kind of slid there. <laughs> Alright, two, two chests in this room. By the design of the room, it looks like another rotational room. Ooh. I don't want to wake up that guy if there's another guy in here, otherwise they'll gang up on me again like they did before. Is there any bubbles along with this guy? I don't think so. Oh! oh. I see. He comes awake in the cutscene. Now this is a Staffles! Bring it on! Now, this, the, these staffles in this game are rather interesting in that once you knock them down like that, oops, you have to drop a bomb, run away, and let the bomb blow up its remains. Otherwise, it'll keep respawning on you. And it can do that infinitely. Good. 
But once you know that, they're a really easy enemy. <laughs> Alright. Got more stuff in this room to clear out. I don't know if it's worth it to go through all these little things. Probably. Because it might be, you know, a little bit harder to get into these things, so they might give you a better reward. Huh. <laughs> They really want me to have bombs, just to make sure that I don't, uh, die to that Staffles Knight, I guess. <clears throat> or Staffles, whatever. Wait, is that, is that the door I came... No, wait, this is a new door. Okay. I'm just gonna go through the rest of these things, and go through that path. Actually, maybe I should end off the part here, because I think that's gonna take me to another floor entirely. Yeah, it's going to take me to another floor entirely. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I go through that door and see what's up.